Hello chicas, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. Today we're going to be working with this opal design with super colorful roses. So then let's begin you guys. I did not show you the acrylics we are going to be needing for this design. Just because sometimes I don't want you to think that you need exactly the acrylics that I'm using. So you guys just work with what, with what you have at home work with what you have you know in your in your area you know with whatever you have it doesn't necessarily have to be with what i show you so i decided to just leave that part out and just begin exactly just straight ahead with the design so right here i'm just using the opal color that i always use on my designs you guys know which one i'm talking about this one you just mix it let's say um let's say you, let's say you want you know a super big mix you're you're gonna want to add maybe about five spoons of white but for clear you're probably gonna need about maybe like 15 spoons of clear you guys um so yeah i already have a, a video up on my channel it's in spanish now Please let me know if you want a video like this in English so that I could do a mix on how I create this mix you guys in English because the one that I have up on my channel it's in Spanish and I know you know I have a lot of viewers that speak English only and don't understand Spanish so let me know if you guys want it or not you know if I get a lot of comments telling me that you guys want it obviously I'll do it but if I don't well well, I'm not you guys because I don't know what you guys want to if you really guys if you oh my god if you really want to watch this or not so yeah that um, I'm just gonna be applying this shade all over the nails they're all gonna be exactly the same nothing different um, as you can see it's more like a milky white um, in Spanish well it's called opal so it's like an opal white um, it, it, it all depends on how you like it if you want it more if you want it more um, crystal clear you can always add more clear to it but this is how I like my opal to be you know and right in the middle more like a milky white um, not so translucent and not so opaque so this is how I make mine um, you can always do it uh, with with the um, glow in the dark powder it also comes out really cool i think i'm gonna do that you guys because i've seen it and it's it looks really really awesome you know it's an opal shade but it glows in the dark so it's totally cool so yeah i did go ahead and cap all of the nails uh just because i wanted the right thickness onto the nails i didn't want them to be very thin so i went and capped them with my crystal clear from nsi I'm also using the number 16 brush from eBay. I get it on eBay, you guys. I always leave a link to it. And if that link isn't working, trust me, you guys, you can always just scroll down and, and there's going to be more sellers that, that sell that exact same brush. So again, and this is a number 16. And I love it because it helps me just pick up either big beads or small beads or tiny beads. It is so awesome. I really, really, really do like it. Um, okay, now moving on, I'm just going to be doing my roses here. They're super simple roses. Um, I'm using Also, I'm using a number 5 uh, 3D brush from eBay as well. Again, you can just type in a number 5 3D brush and they're going to pop up you know they're they're also very inexpensive they're about like 11 12 bucks and um they're really really good this one also helps me pick up either big or small or tiny beads so whatever you need you guys and this one will be great for 3d so i also have a smaller tinier one that i bought from nails blinked but for some reason you guys i stick to this one um i truly do like how it works I do like how it works and I think I'm gonna buy another one because you know you can't have you can never have um, many brushes you know brushes are, are your key tool for acrylic nails so so yeah uh, okay 
I'm using a neon orange here on this nail, you guys. And I just do about three petals around. And then I'm going to go in and make another one in the center. I kind of messed up on this one. This is the first one. I don't know, you guys. It does, does this ever happen to you guys where you're working and then like the first nail or the first rose, let's say in this case, always you always mess up on the first one like it's kind of weird i don't know why but that always happens to me so as you can see i kind of messed up on this one you guys but i kept on going didn't stop i was like whatever i'm gonna keep on going so you know place down my bead wait for it to get the right consistency um and then i go in and make like a little caracolito <laughs> i don't know how you say it in english you guys but um you guys see what i'm doing here and then um, I just do that with the right with the tip of my brush. I go in and make that little caracolito in the center. Uh, and then right here, I'm gonna make a green one. And I think I only filmed about three of them. I didn't want to record all of them, so I just left the pink one out. Also, I didn't leave the um, how I file the nails. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and like if I'm gonna cap the nails. I'm gonna leave the capping section you know the capping process and then I'm gonna leave out the whole filing process but if I want to do the filing process I'm gonna remove the capping process you know what I mean uh, just so that there's you know a mixture of, of things in here so you guys can see what I do uh, so yeah this green one I made it myself you guys a long time ago like I said if you don't have any of these you can totally create your own I used a green that I had and a neon yellow and this is what it gave me so so yeah it's it was really simple to do so um, and then I just added a little bit of crystal clear so that I it got like the right consistency of acrylic that I wanted either for 3d or you know to use on the full nail so it's up to you guys if you wanna if you wanna create your own acrylics i really wanna do a video especially on how i do mixes you know using um you know my own acrylics that i have because i don't have pigments i don't, I, I don't ever use pigments i use whatever i have you know and whatever i have is my own acrylics so i mix around my acrylics you've seen that before you guys so and i also want to make another video or you know um in that same video making glitter glitter mixes I don't know if it's just me but I love watching glitter mixes you guys I freaking love it and I do love seeing other people make their own acrylic mixes because you know sometimes you don't have that color in hand and you just want to see how they created it so so yeah you guys um, I'm just gonna finish up doing this 3d rose here like I said super simple it's not a very you know a very hard rose to do it's just three petals and then i do another one on top and then I, I add another bead and then i make the little caracolito um i'm sorry you guys i think i'm gonna i'm gonna search it on google translate or something because i really don't know what's what's caracol in english but i'm gonna leave it here just so you guys know um and then um like, like i said i left the pink one out just because i don't want to make uh this video way too long and bore you guys um so yeah after i'm done with this rose i'm just gonna go ahead and add some crystals um i truly truly did like this design you guys i really liked it because like i said like summertime is coming up you guys and i'm so excited to wear these neon bright colors on my nails so for the crystals i'm just going to be using like always my bling adhesive by zulai and i'm going to be adding these neon crystals onto the nails and then um, around the crystals i'm just going to be adding some a b ones and um, these are swarovskis you guys these i get them from blue sky no 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 no. i'm sorry sky beads sky beads you guys um and they have really good prices and i and you know they're really 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 good like they're they're swarovskis you guys and like i said they're not as expensive as i've seen them at, at other stores so you know if you want to go check them out go ahead you guys again everything's gonna be in the description box sometimes i forget sometimes i forget to 
to you know to add certain links to the description box um but i don't know you guys i'm sorry <laughs> And then also what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be adding some crystals onto the rest of the nails where the flowers are at. And I'm just going to be adding um, some, some neon ones and some AB ones. Um, for these, I think I used, I think I used like number eights or something. And then... Um, on the pinky i did i did go in with number fives just because i thought that the eights were really too big for the nail so i didn't want crystals to be you know that big to for that nail so so yeah you guys um that's all that's all i'm gonna be doing and then after all i'm gonna go ahead and top coat all of the nails i, I decided to go in with shiny top coat at first, I was going to go in with matte, but I'm like, eh, I don't want matte. I'm more into, into like, shiny top coats right now. Um, but I know a lot of people like matte, so if you want to make it matte, go ahead. Make the designs your own, you guys. I've always said this to you. These are just ideas for you. You know, you guys do whatever you want. You know, make it the color you want the shape that you want and make the design yours um so yeah if you like again if you want to make it matte go ahead and make it matte but if you want to make it matte you need to go in with the matte top coat first um just because you do not want to dull the shine to the to the crystals um even with shiny top coat like the shine to your crystals will will get really dull so of course you don't want to go and um add some matte top coat onto the to the crystals you know what i mean so so yeah you guys i guess i'm just rambling right now <laughs> i'm so sorry uh but yeah after the top coat i just go ahead and um cure it in the lamp for about 60 seconds and then i go in and add a little bit of cuticle oil because of course you want your cuticles to be very hydrated after the whole process is over um the cuticles tend to get really dry so of course you want your cuticles to be really really hydrated so go in with your cuticle oil give a light massage onto it and that'll be it so i think this is it for today you guys thank you so much for being here again um take care of yourselves if you don't need to go out don't go out stay at home um so yeah i guess that's it's it's a little hard for me because i like to go window shopping sometimes so <laughs> so yeah you guys um thank you so much again again for being here thank you for giving me these 10 12 13 minutes um so yeah take care stay safe god bless and see you guys on the next one bye bye